Well, now to a teeny tiny door at the base of a tree that's created quite the mystery this morning. It has the internet burning up, everybody wondering where it came from and whether there's anything magical on the other side. ABC's Rob Nelson is here. Is there anything magical on the other side, Rob? We don't know. That, that's the fun of this story. It's pretty cool here. Good morning again, guys. This small little door has opened up imaginations in a big way out in San Francisco. There are still plenty of questions about exactly where it came from, but for right now, visitors at this park are just letting themselves get caught up in the fun of it all. They can lead to a wonderland. I simply must get through. Sorry. To a candy-coated fantasy. In a world of pure imagination. Or more simply, just to a good old-fashioned cookie. Hey, Ernie. It's that same sense of whimsy and magic that hey, now have all eyes on this door in Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. I think it's fun for everyone to believe in a little magic. Nobody knows exactly how or why the tiny wooden door came to be at the base of this elm tree, but for visitors, the door to their imaginations is certainly wide open. Some leave notes. Do you really exist? Others fantasize about the world on the door's other side. Maybe multiple elves could fit in there. I think it might have been fairies. Perhaps wondering if they'll find Peter Pan's Lost Boys playing inside. The door has unhinged a ton of response online as well. It's art by someone with a whimsical spirit. I love it, one resident wrote on a local blog. Another chimed in. I know with a bit of remodeling work, it'll fetch 2200 per month. Park officials say they have no plans to, well, close the door on the area's latest attraction. We like children, we like elves, we like gnomes, we like butterflies. We like everything that encourages people to have a good time, so I think we'll probably just leave it. Plus, who would have the heart to evict those adorable Keebler elves? Oh, yeah! <laughs> now, one little boy believes a gnome lives behind that door, and he left a note inside the tree that read, Do you really exist? Do you really have magic in you? If these questions are a yes, right back. If so no, I don't want to hear <laughs> that. That's right. Leave me alone. <laughs> Go away. It's, it's good to believe in a little bit of magic every now and then. So, cool story. What a fun story. Yeah, why not?